When building applications in NoLoco, filtering records based on specific conditions is extremely useful. This capability allows you to deliver tailored content and improve user experience by showing each user only the data relevant to them. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to set up filters. First, we'll cover setting up filters based on the logged in user. This will help ensure that everyone sees only what they need to, keeping things tidy and secure. Start by navigating to the page you want to customize with user-specific filters. Enter build mode in your NoLoco dashboard by either pressing Command plus E or clicking the edit icon. Once in build mode, navigate to the page settings and go to options. In the filter settings, specify the conditions that suit your needs. For example, we're going to add a filter to our transactions collection so that only the assistant manager of collection can see them. Next, we're going to show you how to preview the app as different users to test your filters. This ensures your settings work exactly as expected before going live. While logged in as an admin, you might not see filtered records since they aren't assigned to you. To test the filter, preview the app as the user or client that has permission to view the specific record. In our case, Gal is the assistant agent of collection. So, we're going to view it as Gal. Now, in this preview mode, you can easily check the records that are directly available to Gal, which includes the transactions collection. Now that you know how to set up a filter, let's talk about one of the most commonly asked questions. What do you do if there are no options there? Well, if you don't see any filtering options based on the logged in user, it likely means the collection is not properly linked to your user's table. So you should check that your data model includes a relationship between the collection and the NoLoco user table. And if you're using an external data source, confirm that your user data is synced with the NoLoco user table, either directly or through a relationship field in your external data source. If you're using a user list from an external source like HubSpot, the process is similar, but requires additional setup. First, ensure that you've created a relationship between the relevant collection and your user table, then sync your external users table with the NoLoco user table. This will allow you to filter records based on the logged in user. Once synced, you can filter a collection view by applying a condition on the relationship field that links the records to the logged in user. That's all there is to it. With NoLoco, you have the flexibility to deliver tailored user experiences while ensuring your data remains secure and accessible to the right users. Now, you're ready to start customizing your own app with filters and permission rules.